After the end of today's video, you should be able to start your own storytelling channel, a vlog channel like this. What is the largest desert in the world? Let me say now, Sahara Pizza. You they use me to play? What's the capital of the United States? That one, uh, McDonald's. That's where all of them, they live. How many bones are in the human body? Just one, the backbone. Wait, what do you mean by that? A cartoon channel just like this. <laughs> and a lifestyle channel like this. Reporting live from the back of this scooter, folks. The wind in my beard feels exhilarating. With this, it's half price. You just need to scan the code at the checkout. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to our TikTok Live. Today, we're making a special omelet with my friend here. Grunt. All these videos you have seen, I generated them and I maintain consistency is in view three. All that is required is for you to know the trick on how to maintain consistency in every scene. Hi, my name is Yusi Gwen and welcome back to my channel. Without wasting much of your time, let's get straight to the video. So to get started, you need to have an account with view three and to do this, go to Google and type in view three, click on Gemini, then select subscriptions, scroll down you will see the different packages that they offer they have the free plan and they have the ai pro and they have the google ai ultra okay i will highly recommend you ignore the free plan and get started with the ai pro okay made a video on how to use it for free including for students which allows you to get one year free access to ai pro so Go check that video out. For the first method, under the chat version, which is at Gemini, click on the plus icon and upload a file. Okay. As you can see, this is the file that I uploaded. You can get any image. It can be your picture. It can be a picture from ChatGPT or anywhere. Just upload any image that you want, that you want to use as a consistent character. Then you type in this prompt here and you will say, what is the test prompt for the image uploaded that will allow me to generate a consistent character in every video clip? So what you are asking is, you are asking Gemini, what are you seeing? And what is the test prompt that I will use to generate this particular image that I have uploaded in every video clip? This is what Gemini sees in this picture. So copy it and paste it separately in Microsoft Word. And I will paste it just like this. Now, this is another example. This time around, I am using a human being, a lady. I went to chat GPT and I typed in this prompt i wanted to create an image of a black girl okay and i say to chat gpt create a portrait image of a body black lady wearing a wig very stylish and makeup done in a plain background then chat gpt gave me this image so what i did was that i downloaded this image by clicking here then i click on download okay Go back to Gemini, under Ask Gemini, under Ask Gemini, upload that image, all right? And type in the same prompt. What is the test prompt for the image uploaded that will allow me to generate consistent characters in every video clip? And it will give you the answer, which is this one, all right? Then you have to copy it and paste it in Microsoft Word like we did with Bigfoot test prompt. So you have to keep this particular test prompt consistent in every video clip that you want to generate and to give you the same results. So now to get your first video clip and for the purpose of this video, we are going to try and create street interviews with a consistent character with different people and in multiple 
background okay this is how you are going to do this and i'll encourage you to copy this test prompt for your guide or if you want to easily assess it go over to my telegram channel and copy it my telegram link is in this video so now for you to be able to create your video clips with consistent character this is what you need to do the first thing that you need to type in is the test prompt of your main character this is the one that gemini gave to me so the next thing is to type in who is the main character with you also describe the second character and then the background where are they so the setting is the eye of a well-lit supermarket with rows of shelves stocked with various products extending into the background on both sides so you describe the background and the last thing you need to add is the conversation they are having. So Chidera asks, what is the capital of United States? And Obina replies, okay, and the conversation continues. You just have to make sure that you name your character so that when you get to the conversation part, VO3 will understand who needs to speak. So now how do you actually create a video? All you have to do is to go to your Google and search view three flow click on this one that says google apps click on create with flow click on new project then copy your test prompts and paste it make sure you remove this part that says who is the main character with all these things are just for demonstration so after that click here on that settings and select the output I just want one video and select the model. I'll select view three quality. So after that, just ensure it's under view three. You click here to send it. Okay. And we'll wait for the result. So the result is ready. Let's see what we have. What's the capital of the United States? That one, uh, McDonald's. That's where all of them, they live. Excuse me, man. Say what? So guys, as you can see, the result remains consistent with the main character. And this is simply amazing. So these are videos that have generated with the main character. And as you can see, the character remains consistent. All I used was test prompt. Let's change our test prompt and change this character and see if we are going to get this particular girl but a different character in the same background, okay? So go back to your test prompts. All you have to do is to delete this in the area where it says who is the main character with and type in a new test prompt. You can get your guide from ChatGPT if you are struggling, all right? Delete this and paste my new test prompts. Every other thing will remain the same. So go to conversation and remove the name. If you are changing the name of the next character, you need to also remove it where they are having the conversation. So it says Chidera asks, what's the capital of United States? And instead of Obina to reply, this time around, another person is replying and the name of the next person is Jake. All right, I'm trying to make this tutorial to be as simple as possible. So I'm going to copy it. Then I'll go over to flow and I'll paste it. Paste. Ensure that you select view three under the setting and select the number of outputs you want you don't need more than one honestly and you send and wait for the results the character remains the same but the person she's standing next to is different as you can see test prompt is as perfect as using an image reference it doesn't matter whether you have an image, all you need is a test prompt that Gemini understands, okay? All you need is a test prompt that Google understands. A test prompt that Google itself interpreted. So now let's see if the conversation is still the same, all right? What's the capital of the United States? That one, uh, McDonald's. That's where all of them, they live. Excuse me, man. Say what's in? What's the capital of the United States? Now... For the third example is them changing their background and for you to do that just go over to your test prompt leave everything to be the same but change the setting the background area to a different prompt and that is the solution so let's do it so go over to your test prompt this is the background side and change this to a different background so paste it here and click on 
send. So now the result is ready. Let's see what we have. Okay. What's the capital of the United States? That one are uh, McDonald's. That's where all of them, they live. Excuse me, man. Say what's in. And we got the same results with the same conversation. So this is how to create consistent character with test prompts. For the second method, which is by using image reference, it's still the same way. Go to Google and type in view 3 flow. Click on this one, which says Google Labs, and you will be brought here. Click on create with flow, and then it will load, and then click on new project okay once you click on new project you will be asked to start generating so click here and select frames to video and then click this place to upload your image you can click on upload or you can select an already uploaded image so i'll select an already uploaded image then you paste your test prompt what do you want your image to be doing in the background i'm going to paste my test prompt and i'm going to click on settings select the version that i want and i will send it so after that this is the results so this is the results of what we generated for the first clip how do we make these characters to be consistent in different backgrounds with the same image? So I want to maintain consistency with this particular cartoon image. So this is what you need to do. Click here, which says add to screen. Click here, jump to and type in your test prompt. So what I said is Toby and Zuri sniff the air dramatically and begin knocking at the door. So this time around, I want them to knock at a door, okay? I want them to appear in a scene where there is a door, if that makes sense. So after that, you click on send and it will start to generate. So this is what we call screen builder. It allows you to bridge, build your screen by selecting a particular, by using a particular image and jumping that image to a different scene. So this is simply amazing. But unfortunately, you cannot do this with a photorealistic images. You can only do this with images that doesn't look like human beings if you are not in the United States. If you're in the United States, you can do anything you want with any type of images. But unfortunately, if you're outside the United States, you can only use images that looks like cartoon, or image, you cannot use images that looks like a human being. All right. So now, so this is the result of what we have. They started knocking at the door, as you can see. They started knocking at the door. If you want this to continue, you also come to this place, which is the second scene that you have generated, and click on Add to Scene, and you type in what will happen next. In the next scene so let's do it so add to scene and click on add jump to and paste your test prompt and you can also move this particular to where you want it to start okay i'm going to move it around to where i want it to start i want my next jump to to start with when he is knocking and a grandma opens the door and I want to see if I'm going to actually get this result. So he is knocking, they went to the door and he is knocking and a grandma will open the door. So now let's see if we are going to get this result. I'm going to click here to see what happens. So now the result is ready. Let's see what happens. Exactly, exactly. So this is what I am talking about. This are the two methods whereby you can generate consistent characters with view 3 using test prompts and also using images. There are so many disadvantages to uploading an image. The first disadvantage is that you cannot generate photorealistic images if you're outside the United States. You can only use this for cartoons and images that doesn't look like human beings. You will have challenges adding conversations to your characters. So your output will not be able to speak and you will not be able to generate conversations and make 
each character has to speak. This is very challenging when you are using the, the image method. But if you're using the test prompt method, you can do whatever you like. This is why I highly recommend the first method, all right? But the two methods will give you 99% consistency. Yes, 99% consistency and you will get your results, all right? And click the link in my description to get started with view 3 and start generating your videos today. Do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and if you have found value so far. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye.